peace, y'all. What up? It's your boy Choke No Joke. It's truth be told all day, every day. Even on the morning day. Yeah, I just came on, man. Because I want to send a kite out to my brother. Yay. Kanye West. You know, Kanye, I commend you on all the real stuff that you're doing. I don't know how true it is that you're going to give beans 50 million and 5% of Yeezy. I don't know if that's true or not. I got to hear that from your mouth uh, for me to believe that. But even if you gave him 5 million or 500,000, it's a, still it's still a kind gesture on your behalf, you know, showing love, which a lot of these people out here that we contribute to y'all success and come up with great ideas and y'all go on to make millions off of it and don't even, you know, take back to the creators. So from that aspect of it, you know, it's nothing but love. You know what I'm saying? For you, for doing that for beans, you know, if that's uh, a real thing. Um, the reason I'm, I'm sending you this message, Kanye, is because you're scaring me, brother. You know what I'm saying? And I know you covered in the blood of Christ. But at one point you was covered in the, the blood of uh, Lucifer. And this is how you got to where you at, you know. A twisted dark, dark fan, or dark twisted fantasy, or whatever the name of that album was, tells it all when it comes to where you stood at that time. Um, when it came to spirituality, now we are glad that you crossed over and came back to the righteous side. But you know, you can't, <coughs> you can't sell your soul <coughs> to the devil and, and <coughs> um, pardon me y'all, I'm working out, I've just been running my mouth dry as hell. Um, can't sell your soul brother and then you know repent and come back to God and then to give the devil your ass to kiss it's alright to cross back over but you don't give Lucifer your ass to kiss brother that's the dangerous game and the game that you're playing is dangerous right now and is the reason for this video I would like for you, Kanye, as a friend, if you still consider me a friend, I know you ain't seen me in a long time. You know, as a brother, as your rock, rock, Rockefeller brother, you know, rock la familiar. Uh, as your brother and uh, us being going, uh, spinning through the wire at the same time. <laughs> While both on Rockefeller at the same time, <laughs> you know, we we got we got a lot of uh, history, and we both got a lot of uh, similarities with each other. Um, but outside of that, looking at your Dream Champs interview. I understand your passion because it's the same passion you had when you was at Rockefeller before you were signed. The same passion you got when you were signed. Remember, I was there the day you got signed too. And you was running around the office acting a fool, asking, do you get a key card now? Remember that? Remember that? Only those who lived it could tell you that. Only those who were standing next to you when Dane told you he was signing you could tell you that. 
ran all around the office and talking about down, do you get a key card to get in the office? But outside of that, you know, the human side is, I seen your, your interview on Dream Chance, Kanye. And bro, I love and respect the courage that you have. And keep that, you know? Because a lot of these nigg these dudes out here, they broads. They ain't got the heart to say what you say. They ain't got the heart to do what you do. And none of them are as talented and confident in themselves as you are. So, you got, you got the heart of, the, of a lion, like myself. But the thing that I don't like that you're doing is you're asking for these people to come and get you. Like, I know you got this far without anything happening to you. And I'm sure you got all kinds of threats and all kinds of bullshit and whatever. And you probably even fed up at this point. But brother, please, I'm begging you. As your friend, as your brother, your rock live familiar brother, because Beans ain't the only one that came to save you at that diner. You know what I'm saying? Me, Dame, Chris and Neef, we was there too. And the reason there ain't no footage of it because we all was going to get busy. You know what I'm saying? But that's outside the point. Um, but I'm saying that to say, I still protect you even from afar. You know what I'm saying? I didn't throw you away because you rep you represented Trump. I told people they should have voted for Trump too over Biden and them evil ass Democrats. And John Legend, you's a stone cold motherfucking bitch ass nigga, my nigga. I didn't know you turned on Kanye. I did not know that you was talking shit about Kanye. John Legend, I was there from the beginning, nigga. Kanye made sure you got on, motherfucker. He made sure you got on. Before anybody, before GLC, before Consequence, before any of them niggas, he made sure you got on, bro. He's the one that told the world about you. Nobody knew shit about John Legend except for you as that fucking pretty light-skinned nigga that was always standing by Kanye. Nobody knew who you was until he opened the microphone up to you and, and opened the stage up to you and made sure that you got signed. And you's a fucking crab-ass nigga to ever say anything bad about that nigga. Because I seen it from the beginning, nigga. He made sure you got on. He told the world your name, motherfucker. Nobody knew who you was. Nobody knew who you was. I got you on camera so many times, nigga. Nobody knew who you was. Kanye introduced you to the world. He made you fucking rich, you fucking punk ass nigga. You a whole ass nigga. You owe that nigga an apology. Fucking talking bad about him. See, you win this guy down, you signed up with Lucifer too. But what you don't do is you don't let the motherfuckers tell you what to do with the motherfuckers that put you in the position, nigga. Fucking Pusha T performed for Hillary Clinton and then talk bad about Kanye. I'm disappointed in you too, Big Sean. You know how long it took for another artist to come out of Detroit? Outside of Eminem? You know how hard it is to come out of Detroit? And Kanye put you on and made you an international star, nigga? And y'all flip on him over a hat? And y'all represent fucking crime, Bill Joe? Jim Crow Joe over Trump, who been running around with all us black niggas in the entertainment industry his whole career, our whole career. And I ain't never seen Biden hanging out with us at nowhere. Trump dumped money in our hoods. Niggas was rapping about Trump. Ain't y'all niggas ain't rapped about no goddamn Biden. 
Y'all turn on the nigga for a, a, a political choice. Unlaw you ass niggas. John Legend, you's the biggest sucker in the world. Cause I seen you from nowhere, nigga. You was bleak to Jay-Z, nigga. Imagine Jay-Z bleak turning on Jay. Kanye put you on, John Legend. You's a whole ass nigga and a half, nigga. And three quarters. Cause I seen it. You can always say no comment. That's my brother. Let him make his own choices. Goofball. Got you a little pretty chick and you turned on your man. Suck ass nigga. <coughs> I lost all respect for you, nigga. But back to you, Kanye. Kanye, please stop telling these people to come get you, man. Please, Kanye. Stop saying that shit. Nigga, you got kids. Put your kids first. Stop acting like a street nigga out here that ain't got no kids repping the gang and you want to be the motherfucking main shooter. You ain't got to do that, nigga. You off the streets. You off the block. Put your kids first. Every time you go to make a decision, think of your baby first, nigga. Because that's what all of us street niggas do. We put our kids first. Put your kids first in your thoughts before you say shit like that. Because the power of word is strong. And I don't, we don't want to lose you, Kanye. I don't want to lose you. Your damn wife and kids don't want to lose you. Stop saying that shit. Because they'll play that shit against you. And set you up and make it look like suicide. And tell them how you killed yourself. Tell them I'll come get you. They trick knowledge. He's wicked, brother. One of these niggas that want you out of here and have these niggas hit you and then make it look like it was them. Whoever the fuck they are. Stop saying that shit. The power of word is strong, Kanye. Stop saying that shit. I'm gonna leave you with this one, Kanye. If you don't think my word is my word is bond. And you live this one, nigga. I always told Dane, the power of word is strong. He named the movie Death of a Dynasty. You remember that? Dane called the movie The Death of a Dynasty, right? What happened? The shit died. It died. The dynasty is dead. The power of word is strong. Pay attention.